Welcome to yet another day of XCOM. This is the Grim Adventures of Hydraulics. This is today's pre-show. We're going to go through. We had a rank up. Whoops. Wrong character. Right here. This is our new subscriber, Fede Alcaldi. He got a promotion this last mission yesterday, so we're going to go ahead and rank him up. I think we're going to go with combat protocol on Alcaldi simply because it has good tie-ins with his weapon right now. His stock means that even if he misses shots with his rifle, he still deals one damage. Uh, and his gremlin combat protocol ability makes it so that he can guarantee damage as well. So he can be our guy that it's like something absolutely has to die. He can either deal one damage to it by shooting at it, or if he needs to, he can send that combat protocol droid out to shock it and, and deal some for sure damage. So he can be our ace in the hole. This thing has to die right now. I, I think that's the route we're going to go with Alcaldi here. He's going to be our, our ace in the hole. I like that plan. Uh... Joseph Steele is still wounded for five days. Uh, Mouse here got wounded on our last mission there yesterday, so she's out for a few days there. Uh, Maul was gravely wounded, so he'll be out for half a month. Won't be seeing him for a while. Uh, this Patrick Harrington is uh, in sharpshooter training. That's what I accidentally clicked on earlier. This is not a subscriber, so we're, we're going to be able to change all of these. Anybody who wants to subscribe and get added into uh, the character pool here, feel free to go ahead and subscribe. Leave me a comment uh, letting me know what you want your character to be named, what uh, you want them to look like, and I'll get you added in here. That's how we got all called in here, and his character is actually doing very well for us. So, very happy with that. Thank you, all called for the sub. And do let me know if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. I believe all called is the pronunciation, but I could be wrong there. Anything new for our tactics here? Vulture. Enemies drop an additional item with every timed loot drop. That could be useful. Uh, we don't have a lot of supplies, though. Lightning Strike. Units gain plus three mobility for the first two turns of battle while the squad remains concealed. It's expensive, but it means on those timed missions that were concealed for the first two rounds, uh, if, as long as we're not detected, we gain some extra mobility for setting up. Could be very useful. I'm not sure we want to dump the supplies into it just yet. Let's take a look at what else we can do. But that could be very handy. Wet work, on the other hand, the most expensive upgrade we've just looked at. 125 supplies, but another additional 25% experience gained from kills for our soldiers. Which will help them rank up quite a bit quicker. There's no shortage of enemies on these missions uh, by any means. But being able to get rookies ranked up rather quickly so that they don't die instantly could be very beneficial for us. So wet work is something I'm definitely uh, considering at this point. Granted, we can, as we are already doing, training rookies to be specific classes, but that just makes them squatties. And squatties are still rather squishy. So wet work could be something that we could definitely use to our advantage. we got plated armor coming in 13 days. We're going to need supplies to get that plated armor so I'm not sure we want to blow the money on that just yet, but it's something we should probably think about working towards. For our weapons here, one thing we could afford right now would be another weapon upgrade. We could go for the gauze rifles, getting our snipers a lot more beefy, damage-wise. Or we could go for mag cannons, which would make our heavy supports, or our grenadiers, rather, uh, a lot beefier. Also, mag pistols. Uh, it would mean that our snipers, especially um, Ambrose, who has the ability to get that free pistol shot every four turns, uh, would mean that his pistol would deal a whole lot more damage, which he did use to great effect in our last mission. He was able to deal two damage to the mech, which made it so we were able to actually finish that mech off rather nicely. So mag pistols, for sure, is not something we should turn our nose up to. But I'm not quite sure which one of these give us the most benefit. Uh, my gut instinct is to go for the gauze rifle, but my gut instinct is never very good when it comes to XCOM. <laughs> I think we can all agree on this. 
Let's see what we got going on for... Okay, we got a power relay we're building. It'll be done in nine days. Clearing some alien machinery. It'll take like another 19 days. 14 here. We do have an empty room. I don't think we have any engineers available right now. Yeah, we do not. All we can really... We're, I mean, we're out of power, so all we can really do is build power relays. Which we're getting up. We got guerrilla tactics. We've got laboratory going. Do we have somebody assigned to this? Why it says insufficient power? Is that just for the? It looks like we do have someone assigned to the laboratory. All right, we have one scientist, so they must be assigned in there. Okay. Plated armor is progress slow. It's going to take quite a while here still. Yeah, have you assigned We have Zoe Johnson in the laboratory. Okay. Uh, we don't want to change the research. All right. From my own experience, Advent generally deploys heavy security rather than subterfuge when it comes. All right. So we have a resource cache. We could go get. It takes six days to get it. And it does not tell me how many supplies. We do have a supply drop that we need to go get. See, where are we? We are at the Resistance HQ because we just did a council mission. That's right. All right, well, let's go ahead and grab some more supplies. Uh, it's very likely we'll be able to get... Uh, how many alloys do we have? 43? We might be able to get several of the weapon upgrades, actually, if we're uninterrupted. Okay, training complete for another sharpshooter so let's let's view the soldier and then we'll back out of this let's take a look at our soldiers right here and see what we have for a spread can we organize it by class perfect we have three grenadiers two rangers two rookies we have three sharpshooters and three specialists so we have three of everything uh, except for rangers so we could use an additional ranger and then the other rookie would be up for grabs. Okay, so let's get another uh, let's get another ranger training in the guerrilla tactics school. That sounds reasonable, right? Uh, yeah, we'll just go with Hugo Lopez. That's fine. We're probably gonna rename him for another subscriber. So yep, another ranger. That way we have a, a nice decent spread. That sounds like a plan to me. Keep our options open. Continue on gathering our supply drop here. We've collected all the resources. All right. New staff are available. We're going to ignore that for the moment because we want this uh, tasty supply cache right here. Let's go ahead and get that moving. Hopefully we're not interrupted while we're grabbing these supplies. That way we can soak all of them up here. Training's completed. Um... Yeah, I guess let's get that other rookie in there just because it's better to have him ranked up to squatty already so we're not wasting time. Excuse me. Uh, as far as what do we train them as, I'm really not sure. I'm going to go with Grenadier because I think Grenadier so far has been one of the most versatile we've been able to use uh, just because the extra range on grenades is very handy. A grenades play a big part into this. We don't want to have a shortage of grenadiers. Excuse me. Uh, so I think we'll go ahead and go for a fourth grenadier. I think that makes sense to me. Let's continue on with these resources. No, we are interrupted. Okay. Commander, with the Two of options. We've established, we're getting requests for support from multiple sites around the world. Yes, yes, yes. Shut up, Central. We only have the resources talking over me here. So, Operation Diamond Hammer, or Gilded Snake. Now, one's marked as moderate, one is easy. The moderate, 112 intels are reward, and it counters the Dark Advent Advoint, um, I'm sorry, Advent Alloy Padding, which gives the Advent units extra armor. That's not the nicest thing to deal with ever, for sure, especially since that lasts for a whole month, I believe. The easy mission gives us another scientist. It's also an easier mission, protect the device. Uh, I believe destroy the alien relay has to be done a certain number of turns. Protect the device. 
the device tends to last quite a while, so it is an easier mission. Um, but it counters a hidden event. We have no idea what this hidden event is. Now, we can spend some intel to find out what this hidden event is. I don't remember where we do that from, though. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the enemy. Where? But as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working Let's on see. construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Active dark events is rapid response. I think that guarantees uh, reinforcements on every mission. With the commander running things, I've got plenty of time to focus on learning to fly this one mission. From what I've seen, you could use the press list. Just give the word and I'll get started, Let's Commander. see here. I'm not really worried about uh, what the hidden event is. I'll look that up uh, later here so I can remember how to do that in the future. I know there's a way to do it, but I'm not super worried about it. I do think we want to go for the harder mission here. Uh, we do not have any smoke grenades. Okay. We got flashbangs, though. I think that's the important thing. I'm kind of thinking, can we do both of these? Not quite, because they're both 150 supplies. We only have 298. We are literally two supplies short. That's unfortunate. Well, which one do we think is more important? I think we're going to go for the gauze rifle upgrade. Um, the grenadier more... Uh, I won't say more often, but the grenadier does do quite a bit of uh, shooting grenades out there or suppressing targets for us uh, as we used in the last mission so I think the gauze rifle like when we when we ha do that sniper shot and it hits we really want that sniper shot generally to deal a ton of damage so I think that's the one we want dealing more damage first so we'll go with that we can also afford the pistol upgrade which synergizes well with the fact that we just made snipers a whole lot better so we'll have to wait a bit for the mag cannon upgrade but that's alright I think everybody else should be able to cover the weight I think that should do just fine. So I don't know what the hidden event is. But we are going to counter the alloy padding. And do the moderate mission, destroy the alien relay in New Mexico. Alright, let's confirm this guerrilla operation. Make sure our uh, squad is set up to take this on here. And then we'll get into the actual mission. So, preparation for Operation Diamond Hammer. All right. So we're looking at Sergeant Ambrose, Sergeant Steele, Sergeant Damorell, Sergeant Don Breaker, and Corporal Alcaldi. Question is, do we want to swap somebody out for a lower ranking individual so they can get a little bit more experience? We have a lot of sergeants here. We do want a good sniper for this since we just upgraded the snipers. Uh, Steel, you did not get to go on the last mission, so I kind of want to bring you along. Let's see, you're a specialist. Alcaldi, I want to keep Alcaldi in here because he's he's really new to the series. He's only been on one mission. I want to keep him in. Um, it is moderate. I kind of want to take someone a little bit lower level, but I. I don't really want to give up any of these characters for this. I think we're going to go ahead and keep this. Uh, let's see here. Make utility items available. I do want another flashbang. Who do I want it on? I think I want it on Steel here. I think Steel wants the flashbang. And we should probably take the med kit. I know that's not my favorite thing to do, but we should probably take it. Should we put it on the sniper? I think that makes sense because the sniper is going to be hanging back far enough that grenades probably aren't going to do him a whole lot of good. So if the fecal matter hits the rotary impeller, if you catch my drift, uh, then the sniper here is going to have to pick up the slack, run forward, and help with the med kit. All right, I think that does it for uh, the pre-show today, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll see you guys in the next part here for today's episode, Operation Diamond Hander. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you in a few minutes.